12. Right. Now, I didn't make it easy. I'm a fighter. God, I'm a warrior. Yeah. So, I, no, it wasn't easy. Okay, so I guess he got tired of fighting, right, so so at the age of 12. But I'm going to tell you what happened at the age of 12, and then the physical abuse started. I, I, I grew up in the projects, and the way how the bedroom was, this is my bedroom, this is my parents' bedroom, this is the bathroom. So the bathroom is straight across from my room, right? I, 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 I was trying to get dressed, right? I begged my sister not to leave the house. She left the house, right? Okay. So I'm saying to myself, I know he's standing there waiting for me, butt naked, standing in his door, right? So <laughs> I opened my door and I did a dash to the bathroom. And I ran to the bathroom and I closed the door and he put his foot in the door, right? Because he's going to bombard the door. And I'm in that bathroom. And at that time, I didn't... I, I used to go to church with my neighbor, but I didn't really have a relationship with God, but I was talking to him, you know, like, like, I, no, 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 he not going to have my life. I was saying this, he not going to have my life, I'm not giving him my life, right? So the Lord spoke to me, and you know what he told me to do? He said, I want you to put your foot against the tub, right? And then I want you to open your legs, and keep opening your legs towards the door, and keep opening your legs. And I did that. So as I was doing that, it was tightening the door. So he had to take his foot out. So now I'm braced like this. And he can't open the door because, you know, no, you can't, you can't move this. From that day forward, the physical abuse started. Okay? Mm. Right? So, okay. When a, when, a, when, a, when, a, when a child, when a female child is sexually abused, it caused me to become promiscuous. Right? So I went through that stage. See, because I didn't want to live anymore. Right? I wanted to die. Because I, I couldn't take it no more. So I would go to the club and I would choose the man that I'm going to sleep with because you ain't going to take it from me no more. I'm going to get it to her. I want to get it to. And I would sleep with them with no comment. Because I'm trying to get HIV AIDS and die. Right? I'm trying to get AIDS so I can die. Because I didn't want to live. Okay? But God had a plan. Yes. So, I have my two daughters now, because I have four children, three, three girls, and my son is the baby. So, one day, Anika came to me, because something happened to Anika when she was 14 years old, right? And you can share that if you want, but but um, my daughter came to me. You <laughs>
We're not able to help our children because of the trauma. You know, so so I'm grateful for this setting. Yes. Because domestic abuse is a common thing. It's a common thing today. You understand what I'm saying? And it was common before, but it wasn't addressed. Now it's in the forefront. Now it's out in the open. So now, you know, you're not supposed to be able to get away with it so easily as you did before. Even though some people still get away with it, but it's still not as easy as it was to get away with it before. But I wanted to share that, you know, about how I couldn't help my daughter because I was still traumatized, you know. And, and, and I, I thank God for the way that my daughter is raising my grandson. Amen. She's doing a phenomenal job. See, because I was raising my children out of that trauma. You understand? I was fearful. I, I didn't want to let them go nowhere because I didn't want nobody to abuse my children. I didn't want nobody to sexually abuse my daughters. So I, I was I was too tight. I was I was just I was hovering. I was hovering like this over my children. And God said to me one day, he said that you keep bringing them before me and you keep praying for them. He said, but I can't do anything because you keep hovering. You have to let them go. Yes. And that was the most difficult thing that I had ever done because I was terrified. I was terrified. How can I let them go? I gotta protect them. Right. But no, I can't protect them. Who, 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 what? I can't even pr protect myself. I'm going, but in my mind, right. I gotta protect them. But I finally let them go. And I see the results of it. Mm -hmm. I entire all of my children belong to God. Thank you, man. And my grandson. Thank you. Yeah. allows us to go through the traumas of life 